Oh my goodness, what is this pile in front of us? If you want to find out, just keep watching. Hello, my crafty friends. This is Teresa with Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. And I have missed the last two Saturdays of the last two Saturdays of this week in the craft room. So I'm doing a catch-up. This is the for the past two weeks. So I have a question for you before I continue. A lot of these are um videos that are already on my channel so you have already seen those cards please let me know in the comment um down below do you want me to include them in the this week in the craft room or would you like me to just show any cards that i made in the craft room that weren't really on video so just let me know and for today, I'm going to show you everything that I've made the past two weeks, and then going forward, I'll kind of honor your um, what you tell me to do in the comments. So, the f let me move everything out of the way so there's not so much of visual clutter, and I will do it one little set at a time. Okay, the first set of cards, and I'm not going in any certain order. The first set of cards that I have is I shared for the Farm Fresh Fruit Collab, and I want to apologize. I missed the Farm Fresh Fruit Collab this past Wednesday. We had been on vacation, and that was just one video, and we came home, and and then that was the very next day. I, I just couldn't get it done. That was the one thing I couldn't get done before we left, and then I didn't have time when we, you know, I was wiped out, so... I apologize. So, anyhow, this was from the previous Farm Fresh Fruit collab the other week. And um, it is, I use the sheet load of cards for tw for um, July 2023, kind of. Um, definitely for the background and then for the focal panel, I, I did that a little differently. So, I used Simple Stories Lemon Vintage Lemon Twist. I have a ton of this stuff. I could make cards for days with all of this stuff. And so I um, changed up some things. This one, this sheet, this strip went in a landscape. So I turned it landscape. So I used some chipboard um, elements. I used some cut aparts. So... And I didn't make the whole sheet load. I just made um, the six cards. So there's that pile. So that's six. So we got to keep count. Then this pile was also for the Farm Fresh Fruit collab. And please forgive me if I have um, shown these cards before um, because I... Um, I kind of got confused with what I had because my craft room was for a mess from trying to get ready to go on vacation. And so I've had to clean it up and I'm not so sure what I've shown and what I haven't shown. So, uh, so there's a, a cute little watermelon gnome and then we have a cute strawberry gnome. These were products that were from not too shabby, um, that, um, I'm not so sure if they're in stock. Um, all of the products that will be linked down below if you, if I can find them. And um, they will be affiliate links for most of them. Uh, they will be affiliate links It and it doesn't cost you anything. It just helps me a little bit. I had a little strawberry that was colored up for the inside of that one. And then I had a pineapple card for for that one and I used the from cutting out the green I used the um, 
that part of the pineapple on the inside. Did some ink blending with a stencil back here. Um, same with here, did some ink blending. Um, I tried an experiment um, and kind of messed up my turtles. You tell me if I messed them up. Uh, I tried to foil them thinking it was going to, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. And so anyhow, that's how they turned out. And then I have two more. Um, that I ink blended the background and then foiled them as well. And on these two, I used a stamp that I found said hang loose. Then these cards were my hop cards. And I may have showed these already. These were my hop cards from July 1st. So I probably have shown them, but I don't know. I don't think I have a done a this week in the craft room since the first so um and here it is the 20 something so anyhow i had this die for this this die is from whimsy stamps and i just cut out several pieces of paper and did did that little layout and used the ephemera that is still available i will link that down below as well so that is that pile of cards. And so we we'll have six. Ten. Fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen cards there. Then the next pile is another sheet load that I used. Um, this was the January 2023 sheet load, and I am making it a point to go back and do all of the sheet loads that I missed when I was out recovering from my surgery. So, um, you'll see those randomly, and I did not finish in th the insides of any of these cards. So, there's that one. I colored up all of the ice creams. Unfortunately, this ice cream stamp sold out. The stamp and die of the month sold out, but uh, that, but very very excited for Jamie because all of that sold out. I was very excited about that. Um, and this paper pad, the for the paper pad club is ice cream dreams. That is not sold out. That and the turtles is called watercolor cuties. So I will definitely have those linked down below. And I used some, this calls from for confetti and some sequins for, no, some enamel dots, not sequins, for my embellishments on both of those. And I just love how these cards turned out. I think they're so cute. So, there's that. That's another one that you have probably seen because there was a video up for that. Then I was, um, this was my last week's B, some for the summer B series. And uh, I was in a little hop over on Instagram. This is a Polka Doodles Digi image. And this is a Kendra's Card Challenge uh, sketch. I added this part. This part is the sketch. And um, I altered the sketch a little bit. And had that. So that's, look, I'm forgetting to count. 16, 20, 22, 25. We're up to 25. All righty. Then. Pull the rest of these out, then I'll get to these. Then I know you haven't seen these two. These two were exclusive sketches. Um, an exclusive sketch for the Not Too Shabby um, um, channel members. And I do an exclusive sketch every month and an exclusive video. So you can... Um, if you'd like to join, Jamie does some things. I do some things. So that's um, two more. So 27. 
and then every month, or no, not every month, I'm sorry, every single week, I am up on the Not Too Shabby blog on Tuesday, um, giving you weekly mood board inspiration. So I, the, these were the two cards from last month, last week. Um, and I use the, it's apple season, um, paper and ephemera to make these and some sketches. I don't remember what the sketches are, were, I know this was a Mojo Monday sketch and I don't remember. I think this was one of Crystal Minkler's sketch. I don't remember because I don't have the sketches right with the cards any longer. I'll make sure I do that um, from now on. So there's those two. So we were up to 20, 29. And then this were, was this week's um, three cards that were up on the blog. And I hadn't used this ephemera from the Ice Cream Dreams paper, so I wanted to pull that out. And these were just scraps laying on my desk. So I used up the scraps that were laying on my desk from other creations, used some love from Lizzie strips, some vellum, and those um, pieces of ephemera. So, and I've totally lost count. 29, 30, 31, 32. Then I'm going to count this as a card because I am going to um, actually put it on a card front. But for the Kendra's card challenge, I was in a tag Instagram hop this week. And so this is one of Kendra's card challenges card sketches for the Kendra's Card Challenge 11. And I know you can't see this very well. It says, hooray. Um, it's an old scrapping for less die. Um, but um, you can see it in person. So um, I will be putting this on a card. Um, I'm planning to give all of the teachers in our church uh, a back to school card as a former teacher, I know that's a very difficult time, so I want to give them some encouragement. So, um, so that's 33. Then these two were on, were, um, the mood board inspiration cards that the video was on the Not Too Shabby channel. And I did an attempt, I do not do this very often, at a clean and simple card. I had seen this sketch and wanted to try it out, so I did. I even kept it real clean and simple on the inside. And sorry I wasn't showing you the inside of the cards. I just thought, you know, this video is getting long. Um, 34. And then this card has a story. When I was getting ready for something else, my sneak peek cards, I think, from the July box of the month that is over on the Not Too Shabby channel, I cut out these three circles out of this craft card stock. I didn't line them up. I didn't intentionally put them in a perfect line. And when I was cleaning up after the aftermath of a card making session, I saw that they were all three lined up. I thought, okay, I've got to use that on a slim line card. So I heat embossed the little mice with um, purple embossing powder. I used some twine, which I hardly ever use, and um, used the paper in the background and made a super cute slim line card. I was very excited about that. And I've lost count completely. I'll have to, I'll, I'll, you'll see how many cards it is in the title, <laughs> except I am going to include, um, five cards that you're not going to see. I made them for my daughter and I had to give them to her before I, um, 
before I took a picture of them. So these three cards were in the Christmas in July hop that was this past week. These cards were on my channel, so you've seen these. Um, this is a Kendra's Cards Challenge uh, sketch. And I used the paper pad Stay in Cool and the Snowman um, Ephemera from Not Too Shabby. And then another of Kendra's Card Challenge. And I have them all sparkled up with some sparkle pen and some stardust stickles and used up some enamel dots. And there's the inside of that one. And then I, I do remember this card sketch number. This is card sketch number two. And um, of Kendra's Card Challenge. And did just a little bit in there. So I was very excited with how these cards turned out. And then I made six cards. The Build Your Stash of Holiday Cards Linky Party started yesterday. And I made these six cards for that. And I used Christmas in the Forest from Not Too Shabby. And it is the perfect paper pad to pull out. These are cut aparts that are in the paper pad to pull them, pull out those cut aparts. And I was able to make six quick and easy, simple cards. I added some this calls for confetti. So I have six cards. They're all just alike, except for the cut aparts and the, the different pattern paper. And I just love the color palette of this paper pad. And here's the last one. And then I have one more card that I will put a picture of at the end. It's the card I made on the live um, the other night, um, I go live at, on the, at the Not Too Shabby, uh, Facebook group the third Thursday of every month, and we create something for, that you could use as an entry for the mood board challenge, and so that card I made as a birthday card to give to my friend that I went and had lunch with yesterday. So those are all the cards I have today. I'm sorry I lost count the um, <laughs> the total number, including the cards that you didn't see, will be in the description box. Please don't forget to to um, put in the comments below if you want me to continue including the cards that you've already seen on the video. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.